Hi guys, welcome back to Just Claire Creates. Today I'm sharing my November wild hair kit. Um, I'd asked Alison for um, a lot of the same sort of stuff that I got in my October kit. So my October kit had bits of Auburn Lane and um, Pink Fresh Studio Indigo Hills. Um, and I wanted to continue with the Traveller's Notebook that I've been working on. Um, so I've been doing weekly pages on the um, like weekly journaling on that side daily journaling and then layouts um, I think all of these have got men's face on <laughs> um, so yeah I want to carry on with that so I wanted it to stay um, sort of consistent um, so as well as that the only other thing that I'm currently working on I'm making um, eight and a half by 11 pages as well as some six by eight pages and I've been making morning pages in a little TN that I made myself. So, I'll show you what I got. Um, yeah, I didn't really say much more than that, just that I wanted more autumn stuff. Um, so, Alison said, I hope you love the contrast of the navy, natural and coral this month. Um, I think the so that I chose collections that have a more subtle fall vibe I think they'll play nicely with your photos and the photo corners feel very jest to me hope you love them lastly I sent our November cut file so my November kit is a deluxe kit um, and the cut files come in the deluxe kits have I moved it oh no it's there so that is our November cut file so I quite like it on the dark coloured paper Anyway, let me show you what else I got. To start off with, I've got some 12 by 12 papers that are single sided. Um, and as far as I can tell, they are from a Heidi Swap collection because they match the ephemera I have. Hold on, let's see. Yes, I think they'd be that. Heidi Swap Emerson. So they're from the Emerson collection. So I assume they are as well. Um, 12 by 12 single sided papers so I have this one I'm going to put them out of the way so I've got like a navy with white floral I love this one white with navy spots <coughs> I've got a big pink um, letters they're very big so I'm not sure if I would use them for like titles or anything um, but I might use it as background paper um, and then I have this lovely yellow and pink floral on a navy background. I love this one. Right, these are now double-sided. So this one is from One Canoe Two Goldenrod and it's called Pink Tile. I love this. I love the navy and the pink together. And this side is like a really dark, dark blue. Dark. It's almost black with like dark blue flowers. So I like both of those. So I'll probably use bits of both, but I really like that. Move all these up a bit. And this one is beautiful. This is Maggie Holmes Flourish, and this one's called Hummingbird, and I just love it. I love that green and the pink on the navy, and the white flowers. Beautiful. I love that side as well. So the um, Traveller's Notebook that I've already made, I used quite a lot of... Um, well, this paper, which has the that pink on the back as well. So I like that one. It's a similar pink. This one is One Canoe Two Goldenrod again. How beautiful is that? I kind of just want to frame it and put it on my wall. <laughs> but I'm going to have to do something with it. Um, it's called Midnight Forest. I've already said that. That's really cute as well and on anything else I would probably use that as well but I kind of just want to do something with that. It's just stunning. What's this one? This one is Goldenrod Meadow Floral so I'm not a fan of that. Uh, yeah, don't like that colour. But this is so sweet. Like little pink and peach flowers with like ferns and things. I love that one. 
Um, I really like this one. This is One Canoe Two Twilight. So I really like this floral, but I feel like it's too big for my TN. Um, I can't really fussy cut it and I don't know. It might make a nice background, but I, I'd kind of, it, it wouldn't show very much because I'd be cutting it down. Um, but I really like that. So I think maybe scraps of that just for the colours because they're really nice colours. But I'll probably use more of that. I like this branding strip. <clears throat> this is from Twilight and this is Twilight Landscape and again I kind of want to put that on my wall so I think what I might do I don't do a lot of 12 by 12 I'm not a big 12 by 12 fan because I always find that there's too much space for me um, I'm better with smaller things but I wonder about doing something with that on one side and that on the other we'll see we'll see um, and then I specifically requested two of these so they're the same that's the reverse of that they are uh, pink paisley urban lane number seven um, and I love them and I, because I'd used them for my cover and I've used them quite a bit in this book I wanted some more of them to um, to be able to keep using them because they're just so cute um, and then having that will kind of tie the rest of the notebook together so I put those down there you can kind of see my scheme there we go whoa knocking everything All right and now we'll have a look at the embellishments so I'll start with this Heidi Swap pack <clears throat> and get everything out um, apparently I opened it from the bottom so I'm assuming these are from Emerson collection as well and these um, are ephemera pieces it's an ephemera pack but some of them can be used with the mink um, I don't have a mink machine but since getting these I kind of want one and they're not as expensive as I thought they would be so you can see some of the ones that you could um, like gold foil and now that I know they can be gold foiled it seems a shame to leave them in that dark yellow colour. <laughs> they, they should be shiny in gold. Although, ooh, that was my elbow. <laughs> um, although, my problem with gold things, I love gold foil everything. I want gold foil everything on everything. But it's very difficult to photograph your layouts. Especially if you've got more than one gold foil piece because... You can't get the light to shine on them right. That's really cute. That's the same as that paper, isn't it? So anyway, I've got lots of things. I've got <clears throat> some card pieces. I've got some vellum pieces. Um, I've got some sentiments. Oh, that is so cute. I like that. Bit of wood grain. Oh, there's another one of those. Labels and hearts. What does that say? Oh, family time. I like that. And flowers and stories. Oh, this is weekend. That's nice. I like that. Remember, and some more bits and some tags and pink and yellow and green. And that one needs to be gold foil, I feel. No, my camera can't find it. I don't know what to focus on. Focus on this camera. There you go. Right, now focus on this. <laughs> um, date and notes and a little alphabet and a tag and, oh, that's pretty. Can that be gold world then? I don't really understand how the mink works, but I want one. I do want one. What's this piece? Yes, I think that, oh yeah, you can kind of feel it. The paper clip on the paper clips, fine, could be. And that, I imagine, all these yellow bits. So yes, now I kind of want one. So thanks, Alison. Now I need to buy a mink machine. <laughs> so that's my ephemera pack. Obviously, a lot of that is going to look really nice even without the mink. And some of the pieces aren't designed for the mink anyway. Oh, I'm looking into my light. And then I have some great pieces for titles. So I'd said to Alison, although I'm doing my TN, I might be um, documenting taking Ben to a pumpkin patch. I haven't actually arranged that yet, but I still want to do that. Um, so I wanted a title for it. Um, so maybe one of the um, bigger 
layouts. Like that might be quite cute for pumpkin picking. There aren't pumpkins on it, but it kind of looks like it could be a, a pumpkin patch. I don't know. We'll see. So they're like wood chips. I don't know. Are they uh, sticky? <gasps> oh, they're already sticky. I love it. I love it. But yeah, they're super cute. So yes, I'm going to use those for titles. I have some twine. Then <sighs> like a, a creamy brownie colour and a navy. So I think I still have some of that from last time. It's in there anyway. <laughs> I'll not get it all out. What else do I have? Right, let's have a look at the stickers and things. So I have freckled fawn 23 foil epoxy stickers. So they're kind of 3D puffy stickers. So these are gorgeous, these florals with gold foil. Look at that shine. Um, I, f I looked at these and I was like, oh, they're a bit bright. But actually, it's only really the bright pink that looks too bright. So without that, it all looks fine. It's just the bright pink that makes it look a bit bright. So I'll save those for something else. Maybe a Valentine's-y thing. Um, so I have those. I have Echo Park Traveller's Notebook photo corners. I don't know why they're specifically Traveller's Notebook. I don't know. But that's what I'm going to use them in. So that's kind of perfect. So it's got that peachy colour and the yellow and mint green. And this darker coral. I like the black and white stripes. But yeah, they're going to go really nicely with these. Yellow and green and pink. And black as well. So they're perfect. Then, oh, are these not the most perfect enamel dots there ever were? I love them. I love them. I always feel like this. I get enamel dots that I love and I'm like, I want more of them. I want all of them. I want all of the packs of these. But they're just gorgeous. This peachy colour. I love peach. And with this white as well. I just, they are all perfect. I love them all. Normally in enamel dot packs, I'm like, mm, I've got a few that I like and a few that I'll not use. Um, but they are stunning. I love them. And they're going to go so nicely with this kit. Um, and then I have these goldenrod um, stickers. So I've got um, banners and crosses and labels and some gorgeous clouds and pencils some words some strips more labels and some hearts and circles as well and um, so they're going to be really good um i feel like the orange is a bit too dark for the rest of this color scheme i think the orange would be good for autumn stuff but i haven't really got anything that ties in with it but the pale pink and the navy are going to be perfect and the bits of yellow as well those bits of yellow across it as well so yes that is my kit i absolutely love it these are my favorite i just want to keep looking at them all the time i love them um yes so i'm going to um try and get up to date with my traveler's notebook because i'm a few weeks behind because i didn't really want to do pages that didn't match so now i have all my papers um because i had used up all of the last ones and um, so yeah I'm gonna get up to date with that I'm gonna make a couple of um, eight and a half by eleven papers and maybe have a go at 12 by 12 we'll see we'll see but I'm looking forward to it so I will hopefully be back on YouTube to share a process video or two I haven't filmed any for a while um, or I might be over on Instagram and do some um, Instagram TV We'll see. So I will keep you updated. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, that's the best place to find me. Um, and all my wild hair kit projects are on there. Make sure to check out the rest of the design team's unboxing so you can see all the different kits that we got this November. And I'll see you really soon. Bye.